And the lack of sufficient ventilators was a really big key concern during this crisis. And while Michigan has flattened the curve enough for the supply to meet demand, there's still a shortage in other places and worries about a second wave of illnesses. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with an innovative solution to the problem. Many groups have proposed splitting ventilators between patients using a simple Y-shaped device. But that's really only an option if patients have similar sized lungs and they need the exact same ventilator settings. Plus, there is a risk of infection between patients. So, researchers at the University of Michigan set out to design a better way to share this critical resource. Rather than having people die because there's inability, inability to get ventilators, we wanted to find some way that we could go and treat these patients. Dr. Glenn Green and other researchers at the University of Michigan quickly devised this, a customized event splitter. So we developed a way to provide individualized settings in a way that each patient can have their own specific settings and treatment according to what their own lung requirements are. The device has been granted emergency use authorization by the FDA. It delivers oxygen similar to a scuba tank used by divers. There are also filters and one-way valves to prevent cross-contamination between patients. It's relatively inexpensive to make and easily transportable. There was a large request from, uh, from the government of Mexico to obtain uh, ventilators. And so we're looking at, to see if this would be of use to them. Green says this truly was a community effort. A friend of mine had a yoga studio and was totally shut down and was not able to uh, do anything with her yoga studio. And she opened up and, and let us use that area for, for our work. Now, for comparison, a ventilator costs tens of thousands of dollars. These devices can be made for just $500, and that cost could decrease dramatically if they were made on a larger scale. So this could be a real lifesaver in parts of the world where ventilators are still in short supply or if we need more here down the road. Back to you. All right.